Day Music. Simi Costa here with you. How to play by ear? For playing by ear, there is no secret code that is going to type and the door is gonna be opened and you're going to say, now I know how to play. No. It doesn't happen from, uh, it doesn't happen overnight that you're just going to sleep. And then we're going to wake up and say, now I know how to play by ear. No. It requires dedication and time. I have loads of information to present to you. Uh, therefore, I will introduce to you in different videos because uh, as we have loads of things, it's going to be easier for you to catch up uh, all of the information efficiently. Okay, so let's go video one, video two, video three, and, 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 and so on. Um, and uh, let's say if it's necessarily, uh, it's good for you to, to watch to one video more than once just for you to uh, uh, stick the idea in your brain, okay? So just keep in tune. Playing by ear is so good. It's so good. Do you know why? Because we're gonna play without looking at the music shit, without looking at the chords, without like being like that. No, no, you're just going to be free to play because you know what's going on in music. And actually, it's good as well because you're going to know how to do improvisation. Ah, you're going to improvise. It's amazing. It's amazing. Let's go together. There are some people, they play by ear, uh, by intuition. How is that? Naturally, they have the musical perception. And uh, sometimes they don't know that much about music. But when someone just starts uh, singing or playing something, they just uh, they find, find, find it out. You know, uh, however, there are few people for them to get it. They have it to study a lot. We have people who has the natural intuition and those who don't have. However, both, when they work hard, they're going to get amazing results. So uh, let's go and work hard. Doesn't matter if you have it or not, work hard. So actually go on and you're going to get awesome results. I will divide this subject in different videos because it's gonna be better to organize the ideas step by step, okay? Music scale. I'd say that this is one of the most important tools for a good musical background. Because from scales, we're going to understand many things connected to music. How to apply the scales to the songs. There are many musicians, they, they know how to play loads of scales. There are loads of scales and a bit more. However, they don't know how to apply the scales to the melody of music or improvising. We're going to understand how it works. The shapes of chords for guitar. Since you can play a chord, one chord, in different ways, you're going to increase your skills to play along the neck of the guitar. And it's very good, trust me. Shapes of chords for keyboard or piano. Knowing these shapes, it will help you to memorize in a simple way and it's gonna make you to understand them ways better. Chords progression. Bam, chords here, chords there, bam, bam. What is that? They are the group of chords formed of music scales. 
let's say there are some musicians that they play amazingly when they play looking at the, the, the music sheet, when they play looking at chords, but when they need to play by ear, they don't know how to combine the proper chords and then they just get lost. So in these lessons, I'm going to teach you how to get the best uh, combination of, uh, of chords for you to get a good sound. How to apply the chords progression to music. We're going to work with that as well. How to find the key of a music in the guitar. Like someone just starts singing and then you say, where should I find it? And, uh, oh my God, oh my God. There are a few people, they, like, they just sing and the musicians, I don't care about you. You have to find it out. I'm going to show you a few techniques that's going to help you a lot to find it out, okay? How to find the key of a music in the keyboard or piano? We're going to work with that as well. How to find a comfortable key to someone to sing? I will show you a few steps on how to transpose the key and finding a, a comfortable way for you to sing or for someone else. Uh, usually it's, it happens a lot in church. The musicians, they like, they just search in the internet and they find out this is the key. Okay, so I'm going to play this way in, in church. And the singers who are going to sing has to like, has to suffer. <laughs> Because they just say, oh, this is the key. No, it's very important to think about who is going to sing as well. And I'm going to show you how it works. Rhythm. There are some musicians, they, they, they have loads of knowledge. Uh, they know how to play this, that, and, but they have some difficulties with rhythm. And it's really important in music. So how to play a proper uh, rhythm for a music? Probably you're gonna say, si me costa. It's too much information to my mind. Let's say, in fact, that is enough for us to work on. But I want to tell you, if you really want to be a great musician, but that, and uh, someone hear you play and say, wow, he plays very well, she plays very well. For you to be that great musician, I have advice to you. Invest in yourself. Dedication. It's amazing. It's something that we really needed to put effort to be a great musician. So let's go together for the videos, uh, video one, video two, video three, and so on. We're going to get all of the information in details. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like it as well. Yeah, if you like it. If you didn't like, click like as well. <laughs> and leave your comments as well, because I wanted to do better and better to help you. See Mikosta here with you. See you soon.